Hey guys, this is Ramona Mullins with Mullins Lawn Enforcement Garage. Let me take you on a shop tour. This garage has been open since 2016. Before this, we actually ran our business out of our home. This is our first commercial property to where we actually have a brick and mortar building. It has been one of the best decisions we've made. My husband Wesley organized this, and the reason he organized it this way is because this is going to be the bay that we fix things on. And then as they're fixed, they're transitioning into this bay to where they're done and ready to go. So on this wall over here, we have all our tools that we use every single day. Of course, our, our backpack blowers, got to have an 80-10 or a 90-10, whichever you can get a hold of. Our T262 Shindawas are what we've used for 10 plus years now. They're just lightweight and have a lot of power and have been able to withstand what we go out there and conquer every day. Of course, have to have your bush trimmer out there. This is our pole trimmer, so you can actually do things that are taller. Another one of our very special tools that we use quite often is our pole saw. It extends out to 12 feet and this avoids us having to use ladders. We pretty much use all of these tools on a daily basis. We try to be prepared. All our equipment is in our enclosed trailer at all times. All the blowers, everything goes with us, so that way we're prepared for whatever comes our way. Sometimes we'll get to a job site and a customer will be like, hey, I just had a limb go down last night. If we've got the chainsaw there, we can add on a service and make more money that day. So I run a total of four standard ZKs, 36 standard B. This is your 52 ZK, another 52 ZK, and then, of course, your 61 ZK. We do a lot of big properties anywhere from one acre on up. So having these machines makes us very, very efficient. So these are big ticket items, but the way I look at things is I don't really look at the price as a whole. I look at it as whatever the payment is for it. So most of the time you can get these at 0% interest. Your payments be around 250 bucks. To me, that would mean that I would need to mow one yard a month to cover this. During the winter time, I really do like to repurpose things. So for us, wood burning is very important. So we actually wood burn to heat during the winter. This right here is actually used to do our maintenance on all our chainsaw chains. So it's a sharpener. We weld a little bit. So we've got some welding hats up here. We store all our chainsaws and, and gear for going out into the field. You've got to have your safety gear, your helmets, your safety jackets. So this is kind of like the area that we store all our stuff and do, that way we can just grab it as we go and be organized. Of course, always got to have a good shop light in case the power goes out or we need it out on a job site working late during the winter hours. Can't go without having an air compressor in your shop because you use it almost every single day. This right here is the Magnomatic. We uh, put the system in the place this year to not only save us money for us and give us precision on sharpening our blades, but also for our customers. This is specifically used to actually clean the blades, and this one right here is used to actually sharpen the blades. A set like this will probably run you around about $5,000, but it's totally worth your time because you are going to save money on your blades because you're not wasting them. And also, it's a great money maker that a lot of guys in the industry have used to actually help other lawn care companies in other states with, like Mitchell's Lawn Care. He's one of the guys that introduced this to me, and he has done so well with it that it actually prompted me to go get one. This is actually a lift, so it's just a manual one that we use. The tires go right here, it will lift up and allow us to do maintenance over here and another guy be able to do maintenance on the other side. This right here will probably run you about $400 and totally worth your time and money. So this is where we organize all our drills. We love Dewalt, we swapped everything over to Dewalt this year due to the fact that they're just so versatile and everything and we can use all the batteries cohesively with everything. Over here, we've got our right uh, stand. It's basically got any fluids that we need, extra cleaners, anything that we need in order to maintain our, our mowers on a daily basis. The maintenance on them are usually on 100 hour intervals. Because we run them so hard and we go out here all the time, we do maintain them a little bit earlier, basically doing preventive maintenance at all times to keep ahead. This is what's kept us cool during this heat all this summer for two months at 115 degrees. This was a quick buy. It only took one time of sweating 
to where you're drenched and then you just go get one. <laughs> so we don't sell Exmark. We sell right mowers, of course, but we will do maintenance on any mower as long as it's just fluids and battery changes, things like that. We don't do warranty work on them. So this is actually a customer that runs his own lawn care business that brought it in for an oil change and some blades. And that's what we're gonna get done to it. During the winter time, we work on all of the off stuff. So this is just a couple of things that customers are aware of that they're not gonna get done until the winter time because it stays so busy during the summer. We've got the ultrasonic cleaner that will clean our parts and stuff. Uh, we've got a multimeter over there. We've got charging stations. Once this is actually in full function, everybody can be over here and be working. So this actually used to be Wes's tool chest for when he was in the military doing aviation maintenance. So he had it pretty organized for the most part, but then we had to organize it to where it was maintaining lawnmowers instead of helicopters because those tools are massive. <laughs> this is all my organizing. <laughs> Where's this at? <laughs> and then I just point to it. Top drawer, third right, <laughs> whatever has got to go on. God love Wes, he is in this uh, shop quite a bit, so while he gets home from his daily routine, he sits on this chair and, and ponders on what he's got to do and sometimes eats his dinner or lunch here. <laughs> it's from the aviation days. That's his brother and his sister and that's him right there. <laughs> This is early days. This is when it was all women ran by me and uh, one of my girlfriends from my neighborhood. This was done up probably 2012. When Wes hopped on board, he got a lot of ugly looks for this. <laughs> so we, uh, we swapped it over to the girl with the shield on it just to make it more professional. And you know, I started this business 13 years ago and my husband was deployed. So at the time he literally taught me how to use a weed eater and a mower on the way out of him going to his next deployment. 13 years later, here I am. I can pretty much use absolutely everything that we have. I do love learning about the machines, like we have dingoes and excavators and uh, skid steers, so that part of the business intrigues me because I do love running the machines and learning about them. And thanks to my husband, you know, I've been well versed in all of it. So here we have our right mowers. We actually swapped about four years ago from Hustlers to right mowers because of the stand-on capability and also because they weigh a lot less. And for us in Tennessee, we're in a black hole over here, so it rains a lot and we need to be able to mow right after rains. And these mowers have helped us accomplish that. So we have a wide fleet of them. We have them anywhere from 36 to 61 inch. We've even had the 72 inch, but these are very important to us in getting our job done efficiently. These are usually going out at least three to four days a week. Your standard bees will average around $7,200. If they're on sale, they'll be a little bit less. Our ZKs, the same thing, run about 14.9. And uh, if they're on sale, you can get a better deal on them. These are, have been our livelihood. Our maintenance has been low on them and they have been very efficient for us out in the field. These purchases were actually made about four years ago and we've been in business since uh, 2010. So this is our 13th, 12th year actually working in the lawn care industry. So yeah, it's been definitely along the line. We've uh, swapped gears because we needed something that was more efficient and lightweight that could can't handle wet grass all the time. I'm bringing these both out because the customer's picking them up and uh, going out mowing today. All right, guys, let's go see what else is in the garage. I like this organizer over here. We've got the gum buster. We've tried that out this year. It actually works on all kinds of mowers and generators and weed eaters. It's just a quicker way of cleaning carburetors without having to take them apart. So really awesome product. Check it out. Check them out at GIE. You'll, you won't regret it. We have a bolt assortment over here. So with all the different mowers coming in and out of here, you're really never gonna know what's missing. So having a bolt assortment section really helps out because now we can service anything pretty much that comes in that has anything missing. Without a shop being organized, you're wasting a lot of time. Right now with the shortage in labor, we have to really be organized in order to be efficient. So this door leads to the rest of the shop that we've actually turned into a log cabin looking space. This is where we sleep whenever we're working late. 
got a little living space and a little kitchen that the guys can come in, get some rest. If they don't live here, sometimes they'll hang out with us, especially during the winter time when we're doing ice melt. This is a great space for everybody to come hang out, get some rest, and then go out the next day. All right, guys, let's take a look at why we have all these tanks here. One, it's saving us time at the fuel pump. And two, we've had a lot of shortages the past couple of years. We've had to do without gas for, for a week or so. Having these here and having them filled up at all times helps us not have to pay those influx prices when they do have shortages and also helps us save time on fueling up at the gas station. It's actually rented, so you just pay a couple of cents extra per gallon and they deliver these to your place and you don't have to worry about, you know, spending thousands of dollars to have each tank here. So this is our diesel tank right here. So this is for our two diesel trucks that we have. We use this quite a bit, probably about 500 gallons a month at least. The next one is going to actually be our non-ethanol. This is what we use on weed eaters, mowers. On this one, I'd say probably about 200 gallons a month, not too bad, especially this year because we've had a heavy drought. This is our um, gasoline one with ethanol in it. So this we'll use for our landscape truck, which is actually our mowing truck. Probably again, about 200, 300 gallons a month is what we use with it. And lastly, this one right here actually is your off-road diesel, which is great to have. I know I have two diesel tanks, but having an off-road diesel, you're not paying the extra taxes for the on-road diesel. And on top of that, this is specific for the machine, so it's not eating up my regular tank to where I'm always running out. And here we have a Bobcat T770. We utilize this quite a bit during snow season. And as you can see, we utilize it a lot for dirt. Every single day we're at least doing a dirt job, so we have to load up dirt every single day. And this machine makes it nice to have it here at the yard while we're utilizing a different machine in the field. We have pallets here of mulch all the time. So in order to get things done efficiently, this is nice. We're not having to break down a pallet. We can put the pallet forks on here, grab a pallet, put it on the trailer and be ready to go within minutes as opposed to an hour of loading it by hand. I spool up a lot of fires around here due to the fact that we bring home a lot of brush. So I utilize this machine to, to pile it up and get everything cleaned up all the time around here. And it's nice to not have to need anything or anybody and have a machine that's helping me do all the hard work. This piece of equipment is being used every single day. So it's definitely one of the most important pieces in our line. This one has a forestry mulching package on it. So that way uh, we have a big rotary head that goes on here that we utilize in order to reclaim back forest. So with it being battle rattled, you're probably looking at about $117,000. So over here we've got a uh, eight foot wide by 40 foot container. These run about three grand. Uh, they're great. So we've got one for every season and we also have them for our, our supplies that can't get wet like your malorganite, which is fertilizer, seed, straw. It's impeccable and it's helped us stay organized and also know which container we need to go to in order to get the things that we need. So right here we have our GMC 3500 dually. We chose to go with the dually because it is a multi-tasker. It can haul goosenecks, it can haul our equipment. So that way we could have gotten a single cab, but we would have uh, really ran through our brake pads if we did. A truck like this right now <laughs> probably runs around 80, 84 due to the you know influx in prices this year. And they're very hard to find, but when you do, this is an amazing truck. We've had them um, probably for 10 years at least. We've ran nothing but GMCs and really, really enjoyed the stability in their product. This wrap particularly right here costs probably around $650. It's on both sides. It's a great way to put your name out there, especially when you're doing big projects like we do, dirt work and things like that. And people normally just take a picture of it and call us later if they see that we're busy. What we have here is actually my 24 foot trailer. It fits all of my machines in here and I still have space. We also have organizers in here like the green touch stuff so that we can keep everything off the ground. It is not the most easiest thing to turn around with in cul sacs So I do recommend like an Isuzu with the 16 foot bed. Having a backup for your daily routine is definitely a must, especially in how things are going on right now. This will actually cost you probably around 12 dollars 
We spent about $3,000 on the wrap. But again, you know, if I put a billboard out anywhere in town, just on one billboard, it would cost me probably $750 a month when in three, four months I can have this paid for and I'm a billboard all over town. See y'all later. Thanks for coming.